Grade 8 math number 3.2D, negative slope or positive slope. I explained in the last video, a rate of change is the ratio of output over input. It's the y values over the x values. A function is an input-output relationship that can be represented by an equation with two variables, like a y and an x, like y equals x plus 1. For each input value that represents the x, there's exactly one output value that is going to equal the y. So in our function, if it was a plus 1, if we input a 2, we'll have 2 plus 1, our output's going to be a 3. And if our input x is going to be a 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, our output's 4. When the rate of change in a relationship is constant, any segment of the graph has the same steepness. It's just as steep at the beginning of the line as the end of the line. This constant rate of change is called the slope of the line. In the slope formula, m is equal to the change in y values from y2 to y1 over the change in x values, x2 to x1. And this letter m stands for the slope of the line. It's the rise over the run of the line. I'll show you. We can find m, the slope of a line, by choosing two points on the line. And point 1 will be p1 and point 2 will be p2. So here's point 1 right here. And we can find our x and y coordinates. Okay, so we need to find the x and y coordinates for each point. We can see for point 1, x is on the 2 and y is on the 6. So we've got a 2 comma 6 for our x, y coordinates for point 1. For point 2, we've got an x that's on the 4 and a y that's on the 12. See? Now what we have to do is subtract point 1 from point 2. So we've got y2, which is 12, take away y1, which is 6. That's going to give us a 6. We've got x2, which is a 4, take away x1, which is a 2. That's a 2. Now we've got a 6 over 2 as our rise over run. All we have to do is simplify it. 6 over 2 is 3. 6 divided by 2 is 3. See? We can see the rise over the run just by looking at the line. This jumps by 2s, 6, 8, 10, 12. So 3 jumps is 2, 4, 6 for our rise. That's our vertical change. Our run, this goes by single digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 2 boxes, 1, 2, would be a run of 2. The run is the horizontal change, see? We put the change of the 6 over the 2, and that's our rise over the run, see? Now, just by looking at this line, I can see that because it's going up to the right, we're going to have a positive slope. The arrow's pointing up to the right. It's starting down here and going up to the right, see? And we get a positive slope. We get a positive 3. Now, look what happens when the arrow is pointing up to the left. We're going to have a negative slope because it's going this way. Our first coordinate is negative 1 for x and 2 for y, negative 1, 2. And for our second point, we've got a negative 3 and a 6 for y, negative 3, 6. Now when we do our subtraction, we've got 6 take away 2 for our y2 take away y1. That's a 4 difference. And negative 3 take away negative 1 for x2 take away x1. Negative 3 take away negative 1 is going to be a negative 2. Now we've got 4 over negative 2. That's our rise over our run. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. We ended up with a negative slope. And we could have just looked at the line and said, you know what? It's going up towards the left. It's negative. See? And this one's going up towards the right. It's positive. So there's a little thing that people in algebra use to remember it. It says a line with a positive slope rises from left to right, from left to right. It's rising, going this way. And a line with a negative slope falls from left to right. Boom. See? It's going down to the right. So it's falling. This one's rising. See? So I hope this helped you. We're not going to get in too much more uh, deep into this. It wasn't even part of the uh, lesson, but I thought I'd throw that in because I wanted you to know that you could just look at a line and tell if your answer, the slope, is going to be a negative or a positive. 
This is a positive, it's going up to the right. This is a negative, it's going up to the left. See? Isn't that something? All right, we're going to continue talking about the slopes. And remember to hit the like button if this has been helpful. Remember, I'm on Twitter, and I can post any of the whiteboards for you to study. And remember, I'm on Patreon.com if you want to become a monthly Patreon supporter. See you next video. Bye.